G'day guys, welcome to Yenai Beauty. My name is Tanya and this is my partner Daniel and we're back today for another round of New Makeup Nonsense Bingo which was created by Emily Hanhan and Teresa is Dead. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen this before, we basically talk shit about new makeup releases. If you're new to my channel and you don't know how to play this game, basically Emily has made a whole bunch of bingo cards which I'll show you what our bingo card's going to be right here. And we have randomly picked 40 new makeup releases and we're going to put them through a number generator um, until we hit bingo and any time that we can stamp something off on our bingo card we're going to take a drink of whatever beverage we have chosen mm -hmm. so tonight i am drinking once again midori and coke and dan is drinking yeah, an irish whiskey yeah so anyway if you're interested in seeing this stay tuned Alright, welcome back guys. The first number generated is number 33, which is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Rebel and the Queen of Glow palettes, which is these bad boys right here. So we have a, we have two quads. One of them looks to be like a green and uh, gold and the other one sort of like a purple and sort of neutral shades. Yeah. These are a lot of money. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it is, so I'll leave it on the screen somewhere. But I do believe that these are around about $80 Australian, <laughs> which is quite a fair bit for a, um, a quad. Um, take a few years, I think. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love the look of the green one. Um, despite the fact that I'm a purple lover, I look at these green ones and I'm like, I don't know, there's just something drawing me to it, but I can't justify the cost. Yeah, for... For just four. Mm, yeah. I mean, that's what that that's twenty dollars per <laughs> uh, pan. So yeah, I think these are gorgeous. And if you like bougie makeup, I think this is fantastic. I think if you were going to use this every time that you put makeup on, I think then that would be worth it. But for me, that just wants to try sort of greens and golds and stuff like that. I couldn't justify the price tag, even if it is less than the eighty dollars that I stated. And uh, but I do think that they're beautiful, and I think that the advertisement is fantastic. And um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in watching some um, reviews about them and, and seeing whether it really is worth the money. But um, yeah, what do you reckon? Well, you know, there's not a huge lot of variation. I mean, you you really have to pick one or the other. Mm. Um, and at $80 a pop, you, you can't really get both. Well, unless you're lucky. Well, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, <laughs> even if you do choose one, you could really only get maybe two or three looks maximum. I mean, you could go, let's just say the green one, for example, you could go like a green to gold look, or you can go a gold to green look, but you couldn't really do too much else, unless you were going to pair it with another palette. Um, but for me, if I was going to spend $80 on one palette, I kind of want that palette to give me an entire look with the one palette, and I don't think you could get that with the four. I think they could quite easily have um, kept the original one, added another two, you know, the, the blue and the white in with the first lot, and sold it for 80 don't know. Yeah, but I think it's cute. Mm. Um, I'm just not going to spend that kind of money on it. So, yeah, that's not on our bingo card, so we don't get to drink for that one. And the next number generated is number 37, which is the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. So, um... I don't really know anything about this. I like moisturizers. Um, I don't know if it's going to make a difference because it's vegan or not, but um, yeah, I mean, the packaging is okay. And I don't really have that much to say about this um, other than the fact that it's vegan, so. <laughs> From a bloke's perspective, I don't know it's a bloke's or not, but I don't like the green. The, the mm. green color is just not appealing. It's not fruit-like and it's not you know, fluoro or anything, it's just, yeah, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. Um, I'd be interested in it. I love moisturizers. I love skincare in general, and I'd be interested to see how much this is. Um, I'm not like super excited about it, but um, yeah, I'd definitely give it a go. But uh, this one is not on our bingo list. I wonder if we're what? actually going to drink tonight. Yeah, after a bad start. Yeah, I'm. At, you know, I think I'm just going to have to have a drink anyway because I'm a little <laughs> thirsty. So. Where do we go? Mm. I'll catch it. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. So. The next number generated is number 40, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Palette. Mm. Right, well, um, if I recall, Charlotte Tilbury has made a whole line about Pillow Talk, and this is the palette that um, is following in suit with that, and I think it's quite a pretty palette. Um, There's nothing loud about it, it's just yeah. all subtle and 
there's, there's nothing that mm. you, you see in any... You'd get some pretty yeah. basic, soft sort of looks. Like, I mean, it doesn't matter. If you look at it in threes, each each set of threes, pretty basic, pretty low-key. I mean, you could go from day to night, but you're not going to get anything, like, too explosive yeah. or anything. So it is pretty um, basic, but um, it, it's gorgeous. In fact, if I had this, I, I think I would uh, get quite a lot of use out of it. So I, I am interested in it, but I, it's not... It's not like, it doesn't inspire me to do like super creative looks. But as you know, I, the less the better for me. Mm. Um, the, the more subtle, yeah. the more I like it. It's, uh, yeah. that's, that's my personal taste. So. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, I love this colour story, but even for me, I look at this and I go, it's, it's kind of like a bit of a neutral palette. So mm. in saying that, I think we can put this one down as a basic as F neutral palette and uh, we get to stamp and have a drink. We do. We oh, do. Okay. So, yay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't quite get enough. Should we lie and say that's a uh, biodegradable straw or a <laughs> straw? Annoy all the greenies? Yeah. Well, it, it's actually not big enough. I was just about to take it out. But um, <laughs> I have been looking, wanting to get one of those um, reusable metal straws that you can fold mm. up and take with you, but I just haven't got that far yet. So. I saw the ones you can get, silicon ones now. They even mm. come with its own little cleaning brush. Wow. Yeah. All right. You get sophisticated straws. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the next number we've pulled is number six, which is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Double End Shadows. Mm. So I've had something similar to this um, from a drugstore brand a long time ago, and I really didn't like it. I'm not a huge fan of sort of like um, cream or liquid shadows on my eyes, and it's probably because I have hooded eyes and deep set mm. eyes. Um, I haven't really heard a lot of good things about these. Um, I think they're very interesting and I absolutely love the colours, but for me it's not something that I would actually go out and buy knowing that it doesn't really work for me. Yeah, the presentation looks amazing though. They, mm. they look really good. Yeah, they're I mean, appealing anyway. I'm looking at every single one of these shades and I'm thinking I would, I would like, if that was a palette, like a, a, a powder, powder form, yeah. I would probably buy this. Yeah. But be because I know that it's the formula is probably not going to work for me, I just, I can't, I'd have to pass on this one. So uh, we can't cross this one off, so ah, let's move on to the new one. Right. The next one is number 13, which is the Fenty, the Stunner Highlighter and Lip Set. Okay. So, meh. So what's included in that? Is it sort of like the two powders and the... Yeah, so the, we've got like a red lipstick there, which is for the Lunar um, New Year and uh, some sort of face palette. So yeah, hi, is it highlighter? Yeah, yeah, highlighter. Okay. So we got sort of like a pinky highlighter and a got... Well, maybe champagne, I think that is. The photos are a little bit dark, so... And they sell that together, do they? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. So um, every uh, most of the companies come out with like their own sort of Lunar New Year sort of kit, and yeah. it's usually something centered around like red lipsticks and, and stuff yeah. like that. And um, yeah, I uh, I like Fenty. Uh, I haven't tried any of the uh, liquid lipsticks or the highlighters, um, but I have tried their uh, gloss bombs, and I yeah. freaking love it. <laughs> um, th this is not my thing, though. I'm I'm not really that interested in red, and I have quite a lot of highlighters. I don't actually like split pans like this um, when it comes to highlighters. So this mm. sort of just like yeah, nah, for me. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Mm. It, look, it looks appealing though, the boxing. You know, they, oh, yeah. Right with that. I think so, it's stunning. Yeah. The packaging is stunning, mm. and I'm sure it's going to sell out, but just not to me. <laughs> yep. So, um, but this is a Lunar New Year release, and we can stamp this one off. So, yeah. Well, there we go. Sweet. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. I'll just start drinking a bit deeper. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to take the straw out though, because oh, it's just, go. it's not the same effect. So. Mm. Yeah, that's the stuff. Here we go, Legos, Liberty, Spencer. <laughs> yeah. I know, well, that was the straw, to be fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, the next number we have is number five, which is the Ole Henriksen. Yeah. Henriksen, yeah. Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. Mm. Truth Juice. Okay. This is a cleanser. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it appeals to me. I mean, I'm not super excited about it. I, I like the size and um, I'm not generally a big fan of oranges. I've got oranges there, so I'm, I'm thinking that it probably smells like orange. But I mean, that's right up a lot of people's alley. I do like citrus, just um, 
I want to try this. Uh, I've never tried Ole Henriksen or Henriksen. Henriksen. Yeah. Henriksen. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not super, like, excited, got to have it, but I would actually like to try this. I just don't know why it's called Truth Juice. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm... Know. But I, I know with, with all the orange type of cleaners and that sort of thing that I've seen, you know, they, they always... I, I don't know, they smell clean. Mm. You know, so, you know, mm. and fresh. Yeah. So, uh, mm. might be onto something. Yeah, well, I'll check out the ingredients and see whether it's going to work for, for me. Mm. But, um, yeah, uh, not on our list, unfortunately. Yeah. So, oh, well. we're going to have to move on to the next thing, which is number 23, which has hit, excuse me, the BH Cosmetics Digital Future Palette. BH. BH. Is that for something? No, it's just called BH. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Okay, so this is a future palette. Um, this... Are they uh, pressed glitters? Uh, I don't know, but I like the purple. I really like the purple. I love the purple in everything, yeah. but when I see something that looks like chunky glitters... I mean, look, they might not be pressed glitters, they might just be shimmers. Um, but... Yeah, I've had BH palettes before, and although I think that they're nice for some people, mm. um, the Zodiac palette, which had a lot of um, shimmers in it, it just didn't work for me. Yeah. It didn't stay on my eyes. I had a lot of transfer. I don't see anything futuristic about this. I don't. The packaging is kind of a little bit digital, um, but eh. This doesn't excite me at all. Um, I, I don't actually think of anything sort of digital futuristic about this I yeah it's a subtle packaging too it's not it doesn't jump out as futuristic it's fairly subtle yeah I mean, it's not bad but it's it's yeah. it's quiet it's not loud yeah I mean I'm sure somebody would love this I mean it's got some neutrals in there and it's got some pops of color in you yeah, I'm sure that purple is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I just wouldn't be able to wear it um which yeah <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely not for me, not this palette, and um, it's definitely not on our bingo card. Yeah. So we are going to move on. You're sober night. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have some drinks <laughs> in a minute. So the next number is number nine, which is the ColourPop Mint to Be release. Okay. So this is a pastel mint green palette. Well, um, screaming green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and actually the picture is not doing it justice. I've seen quite a lot of looks with this at the moment, and it really, really is that pastel mint. Um, it almost takes you back to the, that old movie back from the 80s, I think it is, The Emerald Forest. Mm. Uh, they used a lot of green in that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've not seen any shades like this colour, actually. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's, you know, that really, really soft baby blue. Imagine yeah. like a soft baby uh, okay. green. So that's what it is. Uh, most of the looks that I've seen have all been identical. Yeah. So there's not a lot of looks that you can actually pull out of this, in my opinion. Um, although I like the uniqueness of the pastel green, uh, I, I personally wouldn't go out and buy this one. There's only yeah. actually one shade in there. And actually, it's not even in that palette. It's one of the um, separate, um, what are they called, um, Super Shock Shadows okay. uh, that I like, which I'll put on the screen here. That one is gorgeous, and I may consider actually buying that. Um, instead of the palette itself. I think $12 for the palette is fantastic. Yeah, well, that's, that's reasonable. Okay. That's sort of price you can yeah. gamble. So. And I mean, if, if you want to sort of splash out in colour and you never had, Colourpop is a great company to do that with. They are literally bringing out, like, I don't know, five, ten releases a fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> maybe a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but they are affordable and the formula is okay. So, mm. yeah. So, mm. And this we can stamp off because it is another colour pop release. So go. beautiful. Cheers. Indeed. Yeah. Jeez, you were getting some down that straw, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next number is number eight, which is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Stormy palette. Okay. Uh by Riley Rose. Um yeah, Riley, yeah, by Riley Rose. This is a limited edition. I've never heard of Riley Rose. Um, the packaging is awesome. And so is the presentation. Yeah, I like the, the shape, the lightning. Yeah. I think it's artistic, but I think it would be a little bit of a pain in the ass when you're putting shadows on. Uh, like if you're about to hit pan, which means if you're nearly finished the eyeshadow and you've got to dig right into those corners, <laughs> that's a real pain in the ass. Like I don't feel... But that's sort of mean I don't use it, so yeah. I, I can't offer that sort of advice. But like, yeah, I would consider buying this for our kids yeah. um, because it would 
be something they'd be excited about and they'd whip it out in front of their girlfriends or boyfriends, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I think that it's cute. Um, it's just not for me and I'm not in the market for a rainbow palette at the moment yeah. since I picked one up. <laughs> Thank you very much for my Christmas present. And uh, yeah, but um, I think we can put this one down to a rainbow palette. Sweet. So we can have a drink to that one. Yeah. Drinks are getting more often, huh? Yes, mm. Mm. Mm, that's good. Mm. Anyone that might hear any background noise, we have children who are being entertained playing games, but that can get noisy. Five yeah. of them. Five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, number 32 has given us Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewey Lumino. Yeah, I believe so. Foundation. There's we're something not, you throw. We're not, <laughs> we're not quite sure. I think it's Luminex. Dan thinks it's... Lumino. So I'm going to put it up on the screen here for you guys. It is um, French. Yeah, so anyway, what I like about this is the fact that it is a dewy foundation and I'm a dry skin girl. So um, mm. anything that says dewy is usually going to be on my radar. I think personally Wet n Wild is hit and miss. There are some Wet n Wild products that I love and there's some Wet n Wild products that I hate, but much like Colourpop, they are, for, they are affordable. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Um, I want to try this. I know that it's going to be probably cheaper than the drugstore um, options that I have here in Australia, uh, including the postage from America. Yeah. So I probably will try this and um, hopefully you'll see it in a future video. Postage has been pretty good actually. You know, we we often order from the US and things often arrive here quicker than they do from a couple of states over, you know? So, mm, yeah, that's right. I mean, we ordered from um, Adidas in America and it got here before an order from Melbourne, which is only two hours away. So, <laughs> yeah. They've yeah. <laughs> got their stuff sorted out there. They do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully I get this one and um, we shall see. And we can stamp this one because this is a foundation nice. release. Oh, so, good. yeah. Again? Yeah, why not? Mm. <laughs> the next number generated is number 11, which is the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. Okay. So there's not exactly a lot to get excited about mascaras. I mean, uh, yeah, they all do different things. I, I like the photograph of this one. Like, it gives me um, hope that this is a at least a lengthening. I mean, it doesn't look like it's very volumizing. But, um, but not gluggy either. Yeah, like, yeah. Gluggy. I would like to try this, depending on the price, like I will not pay more than $30 for a mascara, so if it is more than $30 uh, Australian dollars, then it's not going to be on my radar, but yeah. I mean, uh, we'll see, we'll yeah. see, yeah. Um, I did try the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex one, and I think I paid, I think I paid $29 on it because it was on special, so uh, it's normally 38 Australian, yeah, okay. so, mmm. We'll see. We'll see. If it's on special. On the list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not super excited about this. The brush isn't the type that I normally go for. So I normally like the hourglass type or okay. the um, the sort of like a, how do I explain it? Um, it's more like a curve, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is not what I like. I'll, I'll yeah. Mm. yeah. But anyway, I'm interested in it. So can we cross this one off? We can't. Oof. Okay. All right. <laughs> The next number generated is number three, which is the Juvia's Place Minis, which they have a berry, a violet, a nude, and a chocolate palette. These are six pan palettes. I like the caricatures. Mm. Mm. Yes, well, the uh, creator of this brand is a woman of colour, okay. um, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and uh, they have tried to organise um, eyeshadows that work on all skin tones, which yeah. I think is absolutely fantastic, and I think that all brands should aspire to do that. So, well, 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 the market isn't just white or black. You know, there's a variation. Even in white, there's variation. In black, there's variation. You that's know, right. There's, like, there's such a market to cover, us. That's right. Now, I'm a little bit excited about this. I haven't tried Juvia's Place, and I've been eyeing off their palettes. And normally, I think they're nine pan palettes. They're either nine or 12. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I'm looking at these and I like the six and you know straight away I'm getting pulled to that purple. But, <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm... I, mm, I want the purple, but I know I already have these colours, and if I do buy it, it's literally just to try the formula. So I'm wondering whether I should get one of the other palettes because I know I, which, I already. Which one's jumping out at you? If other than the purple. 
uh, the um, berries, this yeah. one over here. Yeah. So the two bottom ones here. Um, the I more would, neutral at the top. Yeah, the yeah. Ones, yeah. Um, I do need a neutral palette, but I got my eye on a few other things. Mm -hmm. So mm, mm -hmm. maybe if we're lucky, they'll pop up in this bingo. So we'll mm -hmm. see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think these are fabulous. And um, I've already seen a review on them, and I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for the brand. So. Mm -hmm. I got my eye on Juvia's place this year. I want to try something. So. <laughs> but they're not on our bingo list. They're not. No. So. Well, I'll flush it then. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I like. Yeah, the caricatures are great. They're, they're neat, clean looking, and they're not noisy or messy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do like it. Mm. Classy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but still um, artistic. Mm. Yeah. All right. So the next number that we have pulled is number one, which is the Hourglass Vanish Liquid Concealer. So this is to remove blemishes and mm -hmm. freckles and dark circles and all that sort of stuff. So and pointless for this face. <laughs> yes, because it's perfect. <laughs> um, well, that wasn't cringy. <laughs> uh, well, uh, look, I, I, I don't get super excited about concealers because it's... Yeah, I, I already have my ride or die, so... Yeah. Um, uh, hourglass are expensive, and rightfully so. I personally believe that they are fantastic brand quality-wise. Oh, yeah. um, if I was sent this, given this, I would definitely give it a go, and I would be pretty chuffed. But I'm not sure I'm going to spend the kind of money on this. So um, I think it's great for the brand, but it's uh, it doesn't excite me, so... Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's, it's just a black lid, clear jar. There's nothing really. That's it. Mm. There's, there's just nothing drawing you to it. Yeah, yeah. But well, somebody will enjoy it. So, <laughs> is it on our list? No, it is not. Oh. So we are going to move on. The next number generated is number four, which is the Ofra Glitch Palette. I like. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look. Um. I think it's pretty, but it's not for me. It's um, yeah, I told you those shimmery shades. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I do I do like shimmers, but I don't want a whole palette full of shimmers. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And I'm not entirely sure. I know Ofra has a really really good highlighter formula, mm. but I haven't heard fantastic things about their eyeshadow formula. Okay. Um, and I just don't think that I could make these work on my eyes. I think that. Um, they will be gorgeous on someone, somebody probably a lot younger than me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I that purple and that blue and that gold, actually... Mm, That's what I mean, the, the purple right in the middle. Yeah, yes. the last the, four shades for me, Yeah. towards the wrist, I think yeah. are. Hmm. But I don't think I could make them work. So, yeah. what do you do? Yep. Pretty, but just not my thing. So. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so you. Yeah. also not on our bingo card, so we oh. are going to have to move on. And Get dry. <laughs> I know, I want a drink. So the next number generated is number 20, which is the Kat Von D Vinyl Lip Cream and Everlasting Blush. Okay. So it is a blush and a lipstick. Yeah, blush and lipstick, yes, from Kat Von D. Well, the advertising's got three different shades of um, skin there, and... Yeah, it actually looks quite quite good on them, moving all the way through them. Mm. I think the colours are gorgeous. Mm. Um, my only issue is that the brand is Kat Von D, yeah. and I don't support Kat Von D because of the whole anti-vaccination thing. Gotcha. Mm. But what I have been made aware of today is that apparently, and I've got to look into this more, apparently Kat Von D sold all of her shares to... Kendo, which is another somebody who's been a part of the brand but not um, affiliated necessarily okay. with Kat Von D, mm. and she's pulled completely 100% out of the company. Yes. Um, and he's going to be running it from now on. So it's just going to be her name. They're yeah. actually, they yes, yeah, sort of. They're not going to be. It's not going to be called Kat Von D, but it's going to have the initials um, KVD. Is it KV? Okay. Yeah. yeah KVD. Mm. Um, vegan beauty so okay. they have changed the name they've abbreviated it so it's not necessarily her name okay. um it's just her initials so i don't know this is you're still going to get a lot of people that are not going to buy kat von d um because kendo was sort of already affiliated with um yeah. kat von d and because the damage is already done i there are a couple of things that i do want to try but i'm just not sure whether i'm going to pull that trigger yet yeah. um i have to sit on it for a little bit 
But um, because of all the controversy, yep. I'm probably going to say that this is the bundle that nobody wants. Yep. So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right, well our camera just clicked off on us, how rude. Mm. So what were we were talking about, we were talking about the fact that Kat Von D's brand was pretty controversial and um, the, there needs to be a level of professionalism, you know, when you're the face of a brand. I mean, right. and, you, and we all have opinions about various things, whether that be immunisation or political or whatever. And, mm. you know, um, but, if, if you publicly, if you make these opinions public, then you have to know that there's going to be backlash if yeah. uh, people don't agree so yeah. uh, that's the risk that she took unfortunately yeah. and uh what she was planning on doing with her child should have remained behind closed doors as mm. far as i'm concerned so yeah. and yeah uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what i'm going to do about this yet but um yeah uh it's unfortunate because they are it's quite a nice product so yeah it's very it's very pretty and there are some things that I do want to try. I hear that she's got a very fantastic liquid eyeliner. Yeah. So that that's something that I was considering a while back. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to sit on this one for a while because it's, it's still a little bit hot. Sit, sit back and see see what comes of it. Mm. Yeah. But like I said, we can stamp this one because I'm putting it down as the bundle that nobody wants. So, Sweet. There yeah. we go. And again. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's good. Let's move on to number 10, which is the Clarity Cosmetics, the Blue Royal Palette. Well, that's blue. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, that almost looks like they're leaning towards the sort of an earth. Mm, yeah. It does, yeah. I, 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 like think, yeah. I want it, but <laughs> I just, mm, I have blue eyes, and when I see blue eyeshadows, I just automatically think that it's not going to work for me. And I know I've got to get myself out of that mindset, but there's a teal there. And that, uh, oh, and the blue diamond underneath, I like actually. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that sort of doesn't excite me is that peacock shade. Yeah. So everything that's else. Very, it's very dark. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's just to deepen the outer corner to give yeah. sort of like a smoky look. So I guess it's probably necessary. But do, um, do we have a price range on this or I, expensive or cheap or mid-range? I don't know. I've never actually heard of Clarity Cosmetics, but I'll put the price on the screen. I mean, I could look it up, but... Yeah, um, it, it'd be a... Yeah, I mean, that'd be a good good one to experiment if it was, you know, reasonably priced. Like I said, I don't actually know anything about this brand, but I think it's freaking beautiful. Uh, it's very um, specific to, like, it's very, it's blue. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you're after a blue one, I suppose this is your go-to. Yeah, 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 definitely interesting, especially that sapphire shade, mm. so. Mm. Um, this is not on our list, so we don't get to drink for this one. Ooh. So, let's move on to number... 16, which is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. There are eight of them and they are quads. Now, in Australia, e.l.f. is a lot more expensive than it is in America. So in America right now, these guys, I believe, are, they're either three or four dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if they came to Australia, they would probably be about ten dollars. Yeah. Ten to twelve dollars, which is but for four still, of them, that's manageable. Yeah it's, yeah, it's still affordable when you're looking at Australian prices um, for makeup, especially for makeup, even yeah. if it's the drugstore. I like these. Um, I I do get copycat vibes. I mean, the packaging to me is looking a little bit like Natasha Denona's um, packaging, which I'll show you a little bit later what that packaging yeah. is. But also, there's a lot of companies at the moment coming out with four pan palettes. Um, and these guys are sort of just like spewed out eight, so yeah. <laughs> you got my attention. Mm -hmm. There are some there that uh, I really like that we have cream and sugar, berry bad, truffles, rose water, carnival candy, okay. pumpkin pie, acai, and hot jalapeno. Jalapeno. Hot jalapenos. Yeah. I can tell you that there's probably about four there that I want. Yeah, top left, uh, bottom left. Top right, I'll go the blues and possibly the. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I would go for the top left, bottom left, bottom second left, and oh, jeez. Uh, Decisions. Yeah. 
Oof, yeah, I don't know. I like I like them. I um, if they come to Australia, I'm definitely going to pick some up for you. There's like, enough variation in the well, too. So, yeah. yeah, I've seen a review on the um, jalapeno one, and um, I would definitely pick it up. I mean, if if it's definitely affordable, mm -hmm. the shadow formula, as far as I'm concerned, is not as great as some of the higher end ones, mm -hmm. um, but it is definitely workable, and they've pulled out some pretty looks. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we are going to put this one down to major copycat vibes because of the reasons that I mentioned before. Okay. So we get to drink to this one. Oh, there we go. I think Let's we need a refill, one. yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so the next number generated is number 12, which is the Beauty Blender Shade Shifter. Okay. So it is another beauty blender that uh, this one changes color when it's wet so you know when it's wet and okay. when it's dry so there you go. yeah okay um technology huh <laughs> <laughs> beauty blender brand itself like the original one i think is 30 dollars uh, yeah i know and yep. um i've never tried it because i've found i've found sponges that i love and i can get from the two for the same price so. okay yep. um but i think this is cool if you can't tell the difference whether you so is, it, is this one 30 as well? Or? It, it, it probably is, or if not more. Um, US? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For a sponge. I can buy a sponge mattress for 20 <laughs> <laughs> I buy Alice sponges, and I think I get two for $22. So, yeah. And they are very soft, and I love them. But, I mean, this is cool, cool idea. Um, I know when my sponge is wet, I can feel it. So, But, um, I, I mean, I guess, is it all right? Whatever. Some people laugh and not like that. Oh, people... People like gimmicks too. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, look, if you love the brand and you want to collect them all, then why not get this one too? So, but it's just not for me. I've got other sponges that I love. Yeah. And uh, we can put this one down to, it's a new beauty sponge. Woohoo! So we get a drink? Yeah, we do. Well, stock just went up in it. Mm. Yeah. We don't have to do Ooh. this every time. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, I made that one good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, so the next number generated is number 22, which is the Tom Ford Quads. There are five of them. Ooh. We have Noir Fumé, mm -hmm. Arabesque, Oof. Arab... Arabesque, Arabesque, Mink, Mink Mirage, Solar Sable, yep. and De La Creme. Ooh, mm -hmm. speaking Frenchy poos. Why you? Oh, gosh. All right, kill me now. All right. These, I, look, they may look basic, but there is something screaming by me. I like these. Actually, I like them all. Yeah. Um, I think these are cute, but I also know these are expensive. Ah. I mean, they are definitely a luxury item. So if you're going to buy this, you would definitely want to be using it very regularly or have the money to splash out. So I think this would be fantastic to receive as a gift. And as much as I want one of them, I think that... I think that I'm probably going to try and find a dupe um, mm. that's cheaper, uh, maybe one of the elf ones, or maybe something just yeah. a little bit more higher up there, but <laughs> we shall see. I think these are gorgeous. I think they've done a fantastic job, and um, I would love to try these, but I just don't think that they're on my radar financially mm. at the moment, so. Mm. Oh, well, um, and unfortunately, we can't drink to this one because it's not on our bingo card. So the next number that we are going to pull is number two which is the pat mcgrath mini matte trance lipsticks yeah that's a weird name mcgrath mcgrath because in australia McGrath. we call it mcgrath and pat mcgrath so it's, pat you know, McGrath. over in the states and stuff it's mcgrath you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i i'm actually not sure how it's pronounced either but um yeah i i don't care about these uh i've seen this packaging um with their brand a lot and I mean, like, okay, for the last one that I saw, they did a Star Trek, sorry, sorry, a Star Wars themed, mm -hmm. right? And so they had, like, blue packaging for R2-D2 with the lips on it. And it was just like, it was just like blue packaging with the little, um, is it the red dot or whatever to insinuate that it was R2-D2? And I was like, yeah. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my humble male non-makeup wearing opinion, it, it looks cheap and gimmicky. It's, yeah. It, it might be a good product, but that's just... Yeah, uh, almost seeming a gumball machine. You know, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know about the formula. I've never tried it myself, but it, it just doesn't excite me. Like, um, mm. I, I actually am 
distracted by the lips on the tube <laughs> that I'm not even looking at the shade yeah. range. So, yes. um, mm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that might just be me personally, but this just does nothing for me. I'm not excited about it. I, I Like I said, I'm distracted by the packaging that I'm not even looking at the shades. And, I mean, if I do look at the shades, there's nothing really there that's going by me. Mm. So, um, I that might be bitchy, but that's just me. Yep. So, can't love everything. No, that's right. And we don't get to drink to it, so that's a double boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the number 35, which is the Mac Luna Illusions Collection. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that, that works. I like the dragon. Yeah, yeah. but the, the whole um, design it looks fantastic. A lot of people say that, mm. including you, but I look at it and I just think old lady. The intricacy of it, you know, yeah. it's not layout, it's just, yeah. I can appreciate it, um, but I don't know, I don't know what it is for me. I, I see the dragon and I love that and that actually makes me itself, I, I want to buy that just for the dragon. Well, you know I like the old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I behave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's pretty, um, the, the, the contents. I just, I'm not excited about the packaging and I'm probably... It's probably just me because I've seen a lot of people go ape shit over this. They yeah. love it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just yeah. meh. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. I like Yeah. <laughs> um, I want the highlighter. So, that, that yeah. <laughs> um, also, not on our list. So, All right. yeah. All right. Bugger. So, the next number that we're going to pull is number 30, and that is the Jouet, Jouet Cosmetic. Cosmetics? Yeah, I'm not sure. Cosmetics, the essential high coverage concealer pen. That looks bougie. That looks expensive. Um, I don't know much about this brand. I have heard that this particular um, concealer has skincare benefits in it. Like I think it has hyaluronic acid in it, which mm -hmm. helps um, uh, draw moisture into the skin. Mm -hmm. um, so it is skincare and um, cosmetics combined, mm -hmm. which I guess that could be a bonus. Well, if you're going to put something in your face, it might as well do as much as it can. Yeah, well, that's right. So, um, yeah, I think it's interesting, and I think it looks nice enough. Um, I don't know how much it is, but, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it looks, it's simple, but it works. Mm. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think too much, neither here nor there about it, and unfortunately, it's not on our bingo card. Oh. So, I'm getting thirsty here. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next number, which is number 27, which is the Estee Lauder times Danielle Lauder, great, which is the great granddaughter of Estee Lauder, which is, uh, uh, yeah, well, it's Danielle, Danielle Lauder. Yeah. So I think the package is stunning. Packaging is stunning. Mm. Like, the, the marble type look. Yeah, yeah. I like this. And mm. I'm, other people would probably say, yeah, but this probably looks old lady, Tanya. And, and you probably right you know I, I could see like my nana having something that looks a little bougie like this but she look pretty flash too so. mm, yeah that's right I think like this is uh, upper class nana so yeah. um, I think it's pretty I don't know um, the quality of Estee Lauder I think it's high-end it's been around for a while yeah it has um, nothing actually excites me except for the packaging to be honest with you yeah, not even the purple no no? No, nah, it's a little bit too muted for me, so okay. yeah, and I've already got a purple sort of like that. So it's not enough purple. I look at, I would only use the purple in like, what's that, sort of like a champagne colour. Yeah, mm, it's and a I, dark one too. Yeah. yeah, I don't actually like that layout, so. Yeah. Mm. But I do think that the um, image on this uh, packaging here is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so. yeah it's almost so, like a negative, reverse yeah. negative. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to put this down to pretty embossing but basic product. Yeah, so right. And that means we can have a drink. drink. Thank you, Danielle. Right. Mm. <laughs> Don't call me Danielle. I mean, the SA Lord is Danielle. <laughs> I <gotcha>. mm. <laughs> The next number we are pulling is number 14, which is the Fasali Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum. Liquid powder? <laughs> I know, right? And an oil ba balancing serum. Solid water? 
yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have got okay. a lot of things to say about this. It's yeah, it's. Uh, it doesn't matter what it says, as long as it works. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the interesting part. I haven't seen any reviews of this yet. This product's yeah. not made for me. I've got very dry skin. This is sort of like an, an oil control thing that you would put on underneath your makeup to make sure that the oils didn't come out and break that's down true. your makeup later on. Yeah. I don't know how it works, um, especially since it is a uh, a liquid powder. I don't know. I don't know. Really? Yeah, so, mm. interesting. I'd love to see what uh, people think about it, but I, it's just, it's not something that I need. I don't suffer from oily skin, so yeah. I think the packaging is pretty. I think the concept is interesting. Is that a, is that a dropper? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, haven't you seen like those Instagram models where um, they sort of just drop the drops on their face and they just sort of let it just... Nope. <laughs> I'll have to show you later. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one is not on our uh, bingo card, so we don't get to drink to this one. So we okay. are just going to move straight on, gotcha. and we are going to go to the number seven, which is the Tati Blenderful Makeup Puff. Okay. Now, when she first sneak peeked a new product coming out, um, she said that this was a game-changing product, okay. and... Um, we all sort of suspected that it was going to be another sponge, yeah. Yeah, and so yeah. we were sort of like, how is this going to be game changing? <laughs> when um, this got released and I saw that there were makeup sponges, in my head I'm like, how could this possibly be a game changer? I mean, it's just another, it's a puff, yeah. right? I have since watched some reviews, people that I kind of trust, yeah. to a certain degree, and they are, they're saying that it's fabulous. That okay. it literally does everything flawlessly, which has got me a little bit interested. I mean, I'm not going to go out and buy it tomorrow. I'm, I'm, mm. What does it compare to that? Is it a similar type product to that $30 one that was there before? Yeah, but it's supposed to be able to do everything. You, you're okay. supposed to be able to put your um, primer on, your foundation, your um, concealer, your powders, your bronzers, your blushes, your highlighters, everything with these two little sponges. How does it compare price-wise? That I don't know. Um, okay. I will find out. And two sizes, $18 American, which <coughs> is 18 American to Australian dollars. $27? The answer is $26.07. Oh, I'd pay that. So, I'll round it up. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely pay that. So, oof, maybe this is on my radar. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I really do love my Alice sponges. I think I'm going to have to watch a hell of a lot more mm. um, reviews on this. If it really is that flawless, I am really looking to make my base flawless because i got a lot of problems with my base at the moment. It's making me look older than I really am, so that's not... I'm biased. I don't see it. <laughs> I, look, I, I don't... If it really works the way that everybody's saying that it is, and I can understand why they're saying that it's a game changer, but when I first saw this, I'm like, get out of it, game changer, my ass. What the hell? But um, I'm happy for her. This is a new brand. Uh, she's just recently um, come out with a cosmetic product. She came out with a palette that I thought was okay, but it's got press glitters in it, which is not, I don't like press glitters in my palette, so I just won't buy it. But I am interested to see what else she brings out in the future. So okay. this is interesting. This is, this is changing things up a little bit. So I am interested. Yeah. But the most important thing, do we drink? No. Uh. All right, so the next number that we have is number 36, which is the Smashbox Oil Infused, uh, sorry, CBD, CBD Oil, oil Infused Lip Balm, and there are some other products here as well, which are all CBD Oil Infused. Uh, I've smelled some CBD Oil Infused things. I think I tried something from the body shop, and I hated the smell. Um, mm. So I don't know. I don't know the benefits of CBD oil in much, especially makeup products. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued, but unless it's going to make me feel good. <laughs> it depends what documentary you watch. Yeah. Uh, some people scream that they do nothing. Some people say that they're a, they're a, yes they're cure all. You know, the, mm. uh, blemishes and everything. But uh, as far as a topical sort of thing in makeup. I don't know. Are they generally putting out a product or are they just trying to jump on the CBD bandwagon? You know, the, the, um, yeah, the best, so. yeah, I mean, I would only buy something like this if the CBD oil really did give me some sort of skincare benefit. Mm. Otherwise, um, no, what, what's the point if it... I'm going to have to do some research into this and see whether it's anything yeah. really... Yeah, I don't. I personally don't feel it would be, but... 
who knows? I'm, I don't know. I'm not a chemist. So <laughs> anyway, this is, oh, well, we can class this one as the devil's lettuce because it's a CBD infused themed right. item. So we get to have a drink. So. So the next number that we pulled, geez. That stands out. Yeah. The next number is number 19, which is the Hourglass Valentine's Day Lip Kit. I have a little bit of a confession to make. <laughs> I have been wanting to get these Hourglass lipsticks, not necessarily these two. Oh, you've been wanting to, you, you haven't, okay. <laughs> yeah. Remember how I told you a little while ago that Hourglass is really, really expensive? Mm -hmm. Kids come first in this house. It's the only way that we live. I try to be a kid, but... <laughs> um, I don't know. I These look really bougie. I hear a lot of good things about them. And I think they are gorgeous. Now, these two shades, I think, are pretty, but they're not my typical favourite shades. So, these two I'm not actually interested in. I also believe that this pack is around about the $80 mark as well, which means that each lipstick is about $40. But they are interchangeable they're refillable so once you finish using the product in it you get to keep this little triangle kit thing and you can refill it so i think that's a little bit cheaper but okay. um it's intriguing i what, think it's cute what's the life on it though that, that that'd be interesting if you're going to be spending that much you, you don't want it to be you know dried up or non-usable in six to twelve months you know yeah. Most lipsticks are typically between, oh, it depends if it's vegan or not, but yeah. they're typically around about 12 to 24 month yeah. mark. Usually 12 months, but a lot of people keep their lipsticks for years yeah. Um, yeah. and only throw them out when they start smelling like fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of those people, so uh, <laughs> I didn't generally throw mine out after about 8 to 12 months, depending on you yeah. know the product itself. So yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately this one's not on our list either, so we can't uh, drink to this one. Go. So we are going to move straight on to number 29, which is the Herbivore Prism Exfoliating Facial Mask. It's got a good look to it. Mm. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? It's almost like this, I don't know, some sort of... Oh, Prism, it's refractory. Uh, the, 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 all the light like, different directions. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, it's definitely interesting and it's sort of like, another, it's another skincare thing. I'm definitely interested in trying this. Mm. Um, I've never heard of Herbivore before. The brand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I am. those things that eat plants, yeah. yeah no, <laughs> but no, I've never tried anything from the brand Herbivore before, so I am interested in this. Mm. Um, once again, I'm going to need to look up the ingredients to see whether it's something that's suitable for my skin. Yeah. Um, since it has 20% AHA and 5% BHA, I don't know what that is. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an exfoliating ingredient yeah. but i'm not sure how my skin would react to this because i do have very sensitive skin um it doesn't tolerate much so actually throw, throwing back to when i was a teenager that almost looks like uh the, the hair gel that i would use to you know yeah yeah get the old spike going back in the 80s i hear you i, I mean 90s <laughs> i used to do it for my tassels so yeah. i used to perfectly make my tassels stay over my eyes yeah. so now I just let them flop around wherever yeah. they want so but no, it, look, it looks nice yeah. yeah but it's not going to be nice to us because it's not on our bingo card so we don't get to drink Ooh, so okay. right. I know it's getting it's getting hot in here <laughs> <laughs> so the next number is number 38 which is the glam light cake palette cake palette yes yeah, so glam light typically bring mm. out food themed um Makeup. They have a lot of variation there. Yeah, it's That's, a rainbow palette. It's almost symphony. You know, it's got the yellow and the blue. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. A bit of you can do the Simpsons thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't excite me. Yeah. Um, they've got a lot of palettes, which for me, this 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 is same same. Yeah. So they've got like a pizza palette. They've got a taco palette. They've got a hamburger palette. I remember those. Yeah. They're yeah. all the same sort of colours. They're all yeah. sort of rainbow. I think. If I recall, and I'll put them all up on the screen, <laughs> but I believe that they're not all food themed, yeah. but I believe that there's at least seven rainbow palettes in their collection, okay. and I think there might only be about 10 palettes available at the moment. So when I see Please. this, I'm just like, more of the same. <laughs> mm. yeah, just I don't know. Throw a different dress on it and send it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is too gimmicky for me. Um, I would definitely buy it for a tween uh, for her birthday. Um, but for me, I just look at this and it's just, it's too much for me. I'll look at it and I'll go, where do I start? Mm. Is it, mm. Well, it's 20, 20 colours. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of like between four and nine. That's my sweet spot. Yeah. Six would be perfect, you know, like 
they're the colours that I'm going to use. Mm. A gradient. So uh, yeah, but, um, so it, this too much good. choice can be negative. Yeah, yeah. and um, because this is a food themed uh, palette, it can be stamped off as a food themed palette. Mm. So oh, we right. do get to drink. So hmm. <laughs> that's good stuff. Yep. <laughs> that is good stuff. So the next number that we are pulling is number 39, <coughs> which is the Kathleen Lights Essential Oils. Oh, it's through Briogeo. So Kathleen Lights has collaborated with Briogeo and have brought out essential oils in roller. Immediately to me, it looks like three baby bottles. <laughs> To me, it reminds me of when I was younger, um, they used to be really, really cheap. They would come out with these perfumes that you would just roll on your yeah. wrist for younger children. I think Avon had quite a lot yeah. of them. Um, yeah. Um, Nana was an Avon rep. Yeah. I liked Avon and didn't know any better, so. Uh, Try being a boy and having a Nana's an Avon rep. <laughs> it was wonderful getting Avon for your birthday when you're a boy. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Did you get the deodorants and the uh, the aftershaves? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this um, look, I, I like essential oils, but this like I didn't expect something like this. Um, no, nah, this is a pass for me. It's just like whatever. Um, uh, there's, there's nothing. It's just there. It's, yeah. There's nothing appealing, or it's not loud. It's not quiet. It's just something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't probably even know that it exists. So yeah. it's just whatever. It's, it bores me. What can I say? Yeah. So unfortunately, that's the way it is. And it's not on our bingo card. So we don't get to drink. So we're just going to move right on from that. And we're going to go to number 34, which is the Clinique Cheek Pop Highlighter for their Lunar New Year. The Lunar New Year animal or whatever it is, is the year of the rat, which is year also the yeah. mouse. Yeah, um, that's very... Silvery, is it? it I, I don't know. I can't tell whether that's a champagne or whether it's like a shimmery pink. I don't know, but I think mm. that is cute as fuck. <laughs> I think that is cute. Yeah. Um, I've never tried Clinique uh, highlighters, yeah. uh, but I am interested in that. Um, not that I need another highlighter. Yeah. But, um, with, with the clear mm. lid and everything, is that going to be. Is it going to start looking dirty soon? Or? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah. But I think it's cute. <laughs> so I'm interested in it. I don't know how much it is, um, but being Clinique, it's probably mid-range, maybe a little bit more expensive in Australia. But um, I think it's cute. And yeah, I would definitely wear it. I, I could, it would work with my skin tone, I believe. Okay. So yeah, I like it. I Sweet. like it. So, but um, it isn't on our list, so because we've already had a New mm. Year release on our bingo card so unfortunately we have to move on Alrighty. so the next number is number 26 which is the morphe 35 i ice fantasy artistry palette only 35 <laughs> so <laughs> morphe brings out mega palettes like this every palette is just like a splat of color um what are you supposed to do with it all in this yeah, it's a, it's another one of those where it's sensory overload. It's too many too many shades in one palette. Um, this is an artistry palette, so I would assume that it would be more so for a makeup um, uh, an artist. Yeah, some of the using volumes. Yeah, but still, most of their palettes are like that. I um, I don't know. I've got two Morphe nine pans, and they're okay. The formula, but it's not like anything to write home mm. about. I mean, I can make it work, but they're not. I've used them once since I brought them, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got better, and this I don't like this. This doesn't the, stream no, out yet. no, no, it's just like it's very pastely. Um, yeah, I don't know. Next, <laughs> um, <laughs> but look, this is a on our board. This is an oversized Morphe palette, so we are it going to stamp <laughs> and we are going to drink. So, mm. are you good for something, Morphe? <laughs> so the next number is number 23, which is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Mm. When I first saw this, I got excited because mm. I am looking for a travel size neutral palette. Something that I can just do like a kind of like a brown smoky eye. Well, there's five there. Yeah. Yeah. And I was excited about this because it looks similar to another palette that they have, which was the... Um, 
what it's called. I'm sure it'll be right here. Or here, or here, or here yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving on from that. I don't know what it's called, but that palette I really, really liked. This one I've seen a lot of looks with already, and it's the same, same. Everybody pulls out the same look. You might be able to get two different looks from it, but they're not the look that I thought you could get from them. And so because of that, I'm a little bit disappointed. Hmm. I think it's pretty, but uh, it's not for me. Um, it's not what I thought it was. Um, I do think it's pretty and I think it's pretty affordable. I can't remember the price, but from what I was looking at, I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. I think it was $22. Yeah. I can't be 100% sure. And it is a decent brand. So okay. um, I would have actually paid that. But uh, yeah, I, gosh, I wish the Mini Nude, that was the name of the other one. Okay. It's the Mini Nude palette, which will be up there on the screen. Um, but yeah, I thought that was going to be like a revamped, thought this was going to be a <laughs> revamped version of that. And it's just, it didn't hit the mark for me once I saw the swatches, so unfortunately. Yeah. So. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh. Why, Natasha? Why? Mm, that's right. Um, that's mm. right. The next one is number 21, which is the ABH Time and, Times and Reezy palette. Mm. So, um, ABH has collaborated with Am Reezy once before. Yeah. Um, and it was a small palette. I think it was a nine pan palette and it looked okay. So they've collaborated with her this again. Is a 16, I think. Yes, yeah. which is going to piss a lot of people off because yeah. um, they normally make 12 pans. Okay. Is it 12 or 14, guys? You're going to have to correct me. <laughs> but this is bigger than their regular palette. So anyone who collects um, ABH palettes, this is going to be bigger. And so yeah. they're not going to be able to stack them and look all perfect. Okay. So, yeah. But the other thing is, is <laughs> ABH. They've been pumping out a lot of palettes lately, mm. right? And now they've put press glitters in their palette. Ah. And you're not a fan. No. <laughs> Me and a lot of other people. Yeah. Like, they are tons of... I don't know why they did it. So, um, yeah, this doesn't interest me at all. Like, no, nothing. It, it just looks like every other ABH palette that I've seen. Um, mm. Variations of it. And, yeah, I don't have any of them. I do want to pick up... Um, the, is it Norvina one? I don't know. It's a purple one that I want to pick up. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But this one, I just don't think I could get much use out of. I mean, it's got a pop of pink, it's got a pop of blue, and then the rest is sort of like neutrals. Yeah. Um, but those those glitters don't do it for me. I think it's a waste. And yeah. Ah, uh, unfortunate. And um, we can put this one on our card as an ABH release. And guess what? Mm -hmm. That means that we have bingo. Oh, there we go. All does, right, well, we do. <laughs> does that mean we have to stop drinking? No. <laughs> Although we do have bingo, that's not going to be the end of our night, I don't think so. Mm. It's not a wrap? No, oh. not for us, but unfortunately, um, that's it for you guys. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead, feel free, give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you liked what you saw. Let us know if you want Dan back for any more drinking new nonsense makeup bingo games or anything else for that matter. Can they actually see me? All the reflection off the white and silver? Mm -hmm. That's just character, baby. It's just oh, okay. character. Thank right. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you liked what you saw, go ahead, jump over to either um, Emily Hanhan's page or Teresa is Dead. If you're interested in joining it, over on their page, they've got all of the details. They've got the bingo cards that you can download and jump in and add it to their playlist and have some fun like we did. Um, it's definitely it's a great way to sort of just chill and relax. And Good excuse to keep the kids out for a little while. That's yeah. right. But I also do want to mention that if you disagree with anything that we said here, um, everybody has a different opinion, and that doesn't mean that you're right or wrong or we're right or wrong. It just means that we feel a certain way about things, and that's okay too. So hopefully we haven't offended anyone today, and we do hope that you can Come back and um, if you're not part of the crew already and you want to be, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But like I always say, make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified of every time that I upload. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks, girls. Bye.